Hi, I'm Angelica Rivera. Welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you're not. Today I'm going to be talking about nipples. <laughs> Nipple piercings. I have them. Technically, it has not been six months. It's been over six months because I got them August 1st. Vlog Guys, is when, I'm supposed vlog to... Is when you have text I posts. said vlog. <laughs> it's making fun of me. Guys, I'm getting my nipples pierced. Uh, I'm supposed to be getting them done in 10 minutes, but we're literally eating ramen right now. This is Nathan. I just decided uh, I'm gonna make a vlog for my YouTube. Oh, this is for YouTube? Yeah. Getting my nipples pierced. I keep looking at myself, I'm Wait, sorry. Tell them that I'm also getting my nipples pierced. He's don't, don't also show getting his nipples pierced. And it is now February 23rd when I'm filming this, so do the math. So I wore a shirt that I thought you could kind of like see them through, but now that I'm filming I don't know if you could see it. So it's kind of like a failed attempt, but it's fine. <laughs> I was sitting far away so that you could like see that half of my shirt, but I felt kind of like too far back so I'm forward now. But hello! I'm going to make a video about nipple piercings, literally everything you need to know before you get them, what it's like having them, what the healing process is like, how it's changed my confidence and stuff like that. So, if this interests you, please keep watching. So to give you some background, I have wanted nipple piercings since I was about 16 years old, but obviously I wasn't going to get them when I was that young because my mother would kill me. And to give you some context, I am 20 years old now, so I didn't even get them like when I turned 18. I was still like way too scared. But before I got them, I would always look up videos on YouTube just to educate myself and really decide if I actually wanted to put needles through my nipples because I feel like that's kind of a big decision. And I feel like so many of the videos on YouTube about nipple piercings have like such a negative connotation to them, which I don't really like because I've had such a positive experience with mine and I think they can be used as like a tool for woman empowerment and like just for gaining confidence and loving your body again so yeah I want to make a nice video about nipple piercing obviously I'm gonna talk about the bad stuff too which isn't really bad at all which I'll get into okay so the first thing we're gonna talk about is where I got my nipple piercings which is extremely important because you don't want to go to a piercing shop that doesn't have a lot of good reviews and ratings. So you want to make sure you go to a place where you have piercers with the right credentials and you trust them and you know it's clean and everything like that because it's a very sensitive area. It's a very sensitive part of your body so you want to make sure that you're getting the best that you can get. I went to, I think it's called Body Haven Piercing. I don't know. I'm gonna put the name right here. I'm gonna look it up later when I'm editing and I'll put it right here. But it was in Northampton, Massachusetts. I'm in the New England area. Um, I'm not in Massachusetts, so I had to travel, but it was fine. And I like road trips anyways, so it was fun. And I got pierced by the owner. I forget her name, but she was wonderful. I highly recommend her. She was just so sweet. She made me feel comfortable and like just explained the whole process to me as I was getting it done and before I was getting it done so that I would know exactly what was going to happen. So, pain level. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. I've always wanted to say that, I'm sorry. I'm gonna give it to you straight, no sugar coating. It's gonna hurt. It might hurt more for you than it will for other people. It might hurt less for you than it will for other people. But bottom line, it's gonna hurt. If somebody says it doesn't hurt, they're lying. I personally, I think I have kind of a high tolerance for pain. So it wasn't that bad. I didn't cry, I didn't scream, I didn't squirm. It was just, the needle went in, I kind of sucked it up and I got over it and it was fine. But yes, it hurts. It's literally a needle going through your nipple, like, obviously it's gonna hurt. But I will say the pain only lasts for that day, or at least for me, like, that whole day my boobs were kind of, like, sore, that whole area was just, like, sore, but I will say the adrenaline I got really helped. So, like, the first one hurts a lot less than the second one, because your adrenaline is, like, really pumping, so you don't really feel the first one as much as you do the second. After the first one, your adrenaline kind of like goes down and you're like, oh, I just got pierced in my boob. So the second one you feel a lot more. I would say the pain level on a scale from like 1 to 10, 1 being it didn't hurt, 10 being it hurt a lot. I would say it was probably like in the middle, like a 5. To me it didn't really matter because it was something that I really wanted to do and I knew the pain wasn't going to last forever. 
So I think going into it with that mindset is really good because if you go into it like, oh my god, it's gonna hurt, I'm gonna freak out, then obviously it's gonna hurt way more. But if you go into it and you're like, okay, it's gonna hurt, but I got this, you'll be fine. Also, this little, this little fluffy guy over here in the corner is my dog. It's not like a weird pillow, it's literally my dog's butt, so. <laughs> okay, the next thing I want to talk about is how I felt mentally and physically after I got them done. So like I said, I was sore right after I got them done. But after a day, I felt great. I felt like I had not gotten pierced like the day before. There was no pain. I'm telling you guys, like there was no pain after a day. It was totally fine. And mentally, I cannot stress enough how confident I felt. My confidence went through the roof, like through the roof. And I've had trouble with like self-esteem and stuff, so it just really helped me to love my body and just kind of accept myself. And I felt so hot. I felt like I was the baddest bitch in the world. I felt like I was so sexy that everywhere I went, everybody was looking at me. Like, I literally thought I was that girl. And I still feel like super, super confident. Obviously, it's toned down a little bit because I was just like on cloud nine. But... I still feel super confident. It's helped me a lot. It's helped me a lot. Even in my relationship, like with my boyfriend, I just feel like I feel way more secure. I know that sounds really silly, but like if you're a girl who struggles with self-confidence and stuff like that, it seriously helps. Like it helps you love yourself and love your body and know that like, hey, I'm a bad bitch and I got a boyfriend or a significant other and they love me and they think I'm hot. Personally, I also see it as like a style choice. Oh my God, my dog is like, Messing up my bed. It's okay, buddy. You can lay down. As I was saying, um, personally, I also see them as kind of like a style choice. So the next thing I want to talk about is how easy they are to conceal. So like today, I'm wearing this tank top. I think they are very visible, especially like when I'm outside and it's sunny and like you just see them. <laughs> but if I wanted to, I could just throw on a bra or like just a different top and it's just not noticeable at all. Like nobody would know that I have them. So if you're going for like a job interview, if you're going somewhere where you just don't want them showing, it is so, so easy to cover them up. Like so easy. And I feel like in the beginning, I always told myself like, oh my gosh, it's such a huge decision because they're always going to be visible in everything I wear, but that's not necessarily true. And I don't really wear bras at all, so I thought, like, for me personally, that they would be showing all the time. But even in some styles of clothing, they just don't show, even if I'm not wearing a bra. So it's not as noticeable as you think, so just don't worry about that if that's something that's really dwelling on your mind. Seriously, don't worry about it. And I also think it depends on what kind of piercing you choose so like the one that i chose the jewelry i chose instead of like a really round ball it's more it's flatter i can't really explain it i'll try to like put a picture of like examples but mine's kind of flatter and it has like a little diamond in it and i think that shows less than the ones that are just like big round balls on the end so I don't know. So yeah, just keep that in mind. The jewelry definitely matters. You just want to make sure you pick something that you feel comfortable with and something that makes you feel pretty. The next thing I'm going to talk about is aftercare, what it was like in the beginning, where I'm at now with my aftercare and if they're healed and whatnot. So in the beginning, my piercer had given me a whole lecture on what to do with the piercings afterwards. And she told me something about the aftercare process that I had never heard anybody else say. And even when I look it up online, I feel like other people don't do this, but it is something that seriously helped my healing process so much. So basically what she told me to do is soak them in chamomile tea, like pure chamomile, nothing else, twice a day. And at first I was like, why is she telling me to do this? Like, I had literally never heard of this before. I've seen every single nipple piercing video on YouTube. Nobody has ever said that about their aftercare process. But trust me, it works because basically what it does is it calms down the area. Chamomile is like a, I think it's called an anti-inflammatory. Um, so it just calms down the area and gets rid of any like tension and it softens any crusties you get. Sorry, this is getting like super TMI, but you get crusties when they're healing. Now, personally, I didn't get a lot of crusties and I still like, I don't, I don't think I get them that much. Some girls, you get them a lot. It really just depends on your body. But what it does is it softens them up 
<laughs> so then you can go in with like a saline spray and really clean the area and get rid of all your crusties and it's just super clean like I love how she told me to do that and honestly I wish I did it for longer um, I could start doing it again now but like I'm kind of lazy <laughs> but I had only done it for a month because then I went to college and I was dorming and I really did not feel like soaking my boobs in chamomile tea in the dorm in front of my roommate I just feel like that would have been so awkward <laughs> but definitely if I stayed home and wasn't dorming at school I would have kept doing that because it seriously helped me feel like the area was healing I genuinely recommend it so much just soak them in chamomile tea she told me to do it for about like four months which I did not do, but I wish I did. But yeah, after you soak them, as I said, you want to use a saline spray. I use this one. I'm going to put it on the screen. And it's just like a sterile saline solution. It just cleanses the area and it makes sure that there's no bacteria stuck up in there, which you definitely do not want because you could get them infected, which is not good. I don't even want to think about that. But yeah, at first, the healing process, not going to lie, it was kind of annoying soaking them, but it seriously helped. I recommend it. And honestly, guys, like, I have my industrial pierced on my ear. You can't really see. Maybe you can kind of see. I have my industrial pierced. That hurt way more than these. And this healing process sucks ass. I'm not even kidding. It sucks so bad. It hurts. I bump into it all the time and it hurts. These... They literally never hurt me unless I like seriously bump into something which does not happen that often and I could easily avoid that, you know? And it doesn't hurt when I clean them. This literally still hurts me when I clean it and it should be healed by now and it's not. These are almost healed. These are not 100% healed yet, but I can tell they're just going to be healed in like a month or something. A lot of people say theirs don't heal until like a year later. I'm telling you right now, I legit think these are going to be healed in a month. And it's only been half a year. Like, I'm serious. It is so easy if you just keep up with it, clean them every single day. I never miss a day. That's the other thing. You have to be super, super consistent with your aftercare. This is a very sensitive and important part of your body as a woman. So I think it's so important to just stay consistent and vigilant with your cleaning and aftercare. And it really makes a difference. If you start getting lazy with it and missing days, your healing process is just gonna take a super long time so I recommend you just stay super consistent with your aftercare so that you heal them as soon as possible but yeah just to reiterate these are not fully healed yet but they are definitely on their way there I don't think it's gonna take a year or over a year but I will make a video in the future when they do heal to kind of talk about how long it took um, I'll make a little update video six months later half a year later they are doing great I love them they look great in my outfits I just feel super confident and I recommend getting them done. I think it is one of the most positive choices I've ever made. Honestly, I know that sounds dramatic, but it changed my life. It changed my life. Another thing I quickly wanted to touch on is kind of opinions from other people that may drag you down or make you feel like you made the wrong choice or make you feel like, you know, maybe getting nipple piercings isn't for you. I struggled with this for a while. I was super afraid about how people would perceive me and how people would judge me if I got them done because I feel like there's just such a negative um, connotation surrounding them. There's always like nipple piercing horror stories and like nipple piercings getting infected and all this stuff and then there's also like the sexualization of women and women who have nipple piercings. A lot of people see women with these piercings as like super sexual or you know people will say it's like fatherless behavior which I think is extremely incredibly rude and judgmental and people will judge you. Some people they just don't like them. They don't respect them, they don't understand them, and there's nothing you can do about that and you should not listen to anybody's opinion, not just surrounding this, but surrounding literally anything about yourself. You should not listen to other people's opinion because it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, the only thing that matters is what you think about yourself and how you feel about yourself, how you are sitting with your feelings, your emotions, your physical presence, your emotional presence, like literally the only thing that matters is you. If you like them, if you think it's a good decision, if you think it'll help you with your confidence or your happiness or you just think they look cute, it doesn't have to be some deep thing. If you just think they look cute and you want them, get them. Get them. People are going to judge you no matter what. If you have them or if you don't have them, they're going to judge you about something else. So you might as well get them because no matter what, people are going to judge you on something. 
And that's that. <laughs> that was such a cute little motivational speech. I feel like a life coach. Okay, so with that, I'm going to end this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really hope it helped because I, like I said, I've watched so many nipple piercing videos and it's all I did before I got them. So I hope somebody finds this and I hope it helps. And I hope it makes you feel a little bit more at ease about them because you should be at ease. They are simple, easy, super cute. I promise it's not as bad as you think. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe or give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.